Shalom, peace, namaste, hotel, and welcome back to another episode of the Mecca Media Morning Show. I am your host, Hugga the Mecca, and it is a glorious day to be alive. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. What's going on? <coughs> Just <coughs> chilling, chilling. A little bit of a cold here. <coughs> Actually, it's hair in my throat. Yeah. Something, something in my throat. Oh, okay. I thought he meant literally. So what do you have for me this morning? Some black coffee. Got your quote of the day. Okay. Don't ruin a good day because of a bad yesterday. I'm going to say that one more time. Don't ruin a good day because of a bad yesterday. That's right. Have some cream on that. Don't ruin your today because of a bad yesterday because it happened yesterday. You can't change it. Don't let it affect you today. Keep on doing what you're going to do today. You can't change it. It is what it is. Keep That's on going. Fair. Keep on rolling. Keep on flowing. Okay. So thank you for that motivation. And let us get into our daily information. And we get our news every day from the ReporterNewspaperOnline.com. And today, HBO Max orders two-season reboot of Aaron McRuders, or is it McRuders? Either or. The Boondocks. So wait a minute, hold on. You mean to tell me the Boondocks is coming back? Yes. I'm excited. I love the Boondocks. Okay, so HBO has given the Boondocks creator Aaron McGruder and Sony Pictures Animation a two-season, 24-episode order of the series. We previously reported the studio announced a complete reimagining of the show for the modern area during the 2019 Annecy International Animated Film Festival in July. Based on his 1996 comic strip of the same name, McGruder's The Boondocks premiered in November 2005 on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim. The, re- the reboot is being described as a satire for the modern area. And according to Entertainment Weekly, it will chronicle the adventures of the Freeman family and Uncle Ruckus, who is now an evil tyrant running the Woodcrest County government. That's some good knowledge, man. That's some dope, man. That's a good show. It's a transcending show. It's a show from a conscious mind. It really is. Started as a newspaper, right? You know that, right? Did it? It's a newspaper comic strip. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I guess that's what they did. Yeah. Okay. Why I didn't know that. And they tell a lot of truth in that show, just like they do in other shows, but they keep it real legit here. Let's go with the uh, Black Thought of the Day. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Why do they say the black woman is the queen? Why do they say black woman is the queen, right? And she ain't even married. You got to be a you gotta be married to be a queen. The hell is going on? I think it's because she is royalty, regardless of whether or not she's married. Just like you can be a king, but you also have to be a prince first and marry a princess in order to be a king. So no, you got to inherit the throne. Well, you, you can be inherit a king the without too, a queen. But you can't be a queen without a king. Okay. Well, no. We unless already you, talked about this. Unless you sit, unless you're sitting in the stead. We already talked about that. Okay. So you believe the average black woman here in the wilderness of North America is a queen even though she acting like a thing? Out there twerking and working, popping it and stopping it? That's a queen too? I think underneath all of that is, is, first of all, it's lack of knowledge. So can you really call a black man who doesn't know himself a king? Can you really call a black man who's out here killing his brother and sister a king? A misguided king. She's a misguided queen. And she'll find her a king. Wait. She ain't gonna find her king making chicken, chicken nuggets and and beef and hamburger helper and but all that. How is he gonna shit? find his his queen out here killing, killing and selling dope to his brothers and sisters? He killing his queen somewhere. Why you gotta mention the killer? I was just mentioning the girl that was twerking. Because that's really the that's stereotype of black men. The black man is the killer. The woman. No, no, is, no, no. You gotta is, stay into the the equation. You is, went way lower the, the left. Thought. No, no. I'm not talking about the alcoholic or no. the or the pill popper lady. I'm talking about. The lady who's twerking and working That's the lady I'm and can't about. cook. That's the lady that, I'm talking about. And I'm so talking so about the equivalent lady. of the dude is somebody who's not working, can't hold a job down, and out here playing PlayStation all day. Okay, so you want to talk about how can he be a king playing PlayStation all day? He, be, he can be the king of that game. <laughs> she could be the queen of twerking. I'm just saying. Take it. What's the news <laughs> of the week? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. The business of the week is, gotta find it, the Greater Akron Turkey Bowl Flag Football League 
they got something coming up. You can go to AkronHipHop.com or you can sign up to where you can play flag football and they're going to have a tournament or a competition on Thanksgiving Day. And the winners of each division, because it says four to high school and then it has adults. I don't know if four is fourth grade or if four is actually four years old. But you can go to AkronHipHop.com, you can click the link, and you can probably get more information on that. And you can also sign up, and you can also call 440-467-2255 two, two. <laughs> for more information. <laughs> Take us out of here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of the Mecca Media Morning Show. And keep in mind that we are AkronHipHop.com, and what we do is paint positive pictures of our people every single day. Peace out.